It's Lydia, Priestess Honeymoon, here in my nighty, my house cold. Oh, uh, really run down. I'm about to kind of go back to sleep. I've just been really hit, KO'd with this flu. So, whatever it is, the Omnicron or. It really hit me like I was feeling weak throughout the week. <laughs> weak throughout the week. I felt like it was coming, running through me and stuff when I was watching the kids. But like, I was like, oh, it's, I'm good. I'm good. I'm not going to get like super hit with it. And then just woke up yesterday really like feeling achy and just fluey. <laughs> it just got worse throughout the day and lots of. The headache was really, really bad, body pains, and I was just really trying to surrender into it and just, like, feel it, and it was so amazing, even throughout the sickness, that I was really able to just, like, rise above it, kind of, and witness it, and I was just, like, feeling even grateful for being able to feel it because, you know, I'm alive, and whatever I'm feeling is part of this human experience, so I need to go take an Advil, I think, and go back to bed now, but yeah, really feeling like, also it was like my body was like healing itself from the inside out, like getting all these pains and all of this, it's like, you know, I mean, that is our the viruses attack our immune system and so I felt like these little soldiers like going to the virus my soldiers were kind of like drunken like they were going around like oh my gosh we're drunk on love <laughs> I don't know if I was on love but they were like whoa this is crazy going around trying to get rid of the virus <laughs> And I feel like, yeah, I'm healing, so I woke up feeling a lot better. But still know I need to take it easy. These aches are coming back, but just knowing that, hmm, I'm super lucky to be alive, and, and I feel like my body is really trying to heal all of the stuff that's stored up in me and like make room for more, for newer and better, you know, I had really come into this place of like the cheetah, is it the cheetah? I'm gonna have to look it up, I can't remember, but I like the word cheetah where it's just like pure consciousness, that part of our mind that is pure consciousness and really feeling into that part of the mind yesterday when I was suffering with this suffering was i suffering <laughs> i'm gonna think about that <laughs> but yeah even really feeling like from that place if we were to be living from that place like do viruses even exist like can they even affect us when we're living from that higher place of like just consciousness and it's how we evolve, you know. I got to, was listening to the video where it was explaining the cheetah, and it's already something that I've been tapping into. But just hearing that name and that it's like the part of the mind, and I was like, it's so true. Like we, you know, like life is like our own little play. Like we are creating our stories in this moment, and. How do we want, do we want to say, like, what do we want to write? Like, we are in control and just, ah, so beautiful coming from that place of just, we are the creators and we can create magic while we're here and I really don't want to let any moments pass me by and then at the same time also being in that place no, we know that like just being here is enough and I don't have to do anything to to be something I already am all of what I'm meant to be and 
And then in the last point, <laughs> living from that, this place, like we can create whatever we want. So just really feeling into what you want to, what I want to create and knowing that I'm the only one stopping me. <laughs> right now, I just want to create... Mm, a healthy version of me heal this virus from the outside and from the inside <laughs> go back to bed <laughs> thank you for being here witnessing me mm, I wish you all so much love and goodness Hmm. Have a beautiful day. <laughs>